Hey guys, what's going on? It's Don here from Nova Spirit Tech, and today we are going to be taking a look at the Asus Tinkerboard and if it's worth the bucks. So let's get started. So at first look, this does look like a Raspberry Pi. As a matter of fact, it's the same form factor, so if you got Raspberry Pi cases, this would fit right in. Now what I like that they did was color code the GPIO pins, and I always have a problem with Raspberry Pi without the color code and all that stuff. It makes it so much easier to plug stuff in. Another thing is that they added an external Wi-Fi, so you could plug your own antenna to get better range. This does use a quad-core 1.8 GHz ARM A17 processor with 2 GB of DDR3 RAM dual channel. And it's also using a SDIO 3.0 compared to the 2.0 on Raspberry Pis, so you should be able to get faster reads on specific cards. Uh, it has 24-bit um, audio, HD audio, compared to 16-bit uh, audio from the Raspberry Pi. The biggest thing is that it has gigabit Ethernet, and it's not shared controller between the Ethernet and the USB, so you'll be able to get full bandwidth. Uh, it's still using USB 2.0, and uh, it has HDMI 2.0. Why I quoted that is because on their FAQs it says it's 1.4, but on their website it says 2.0, so I don't know which one to believe. It also does and does not do 4K. Uh, it says it does 4K, but it's a scaled up version of 1080, so you can't play 4K videos because it's running on a 1080 scaled up version. So you could run 1080 videos, but scale it up to 4K. So I don't know, it's very weird. Is it 4K or is it not? Um, it says it supports 4K, but it's scaled. That's, that's all I know about it. The operating system of choice is Debian. You could download it from their website. Technically, as of making this video, you cannot because the website won't even allow you to download the OS. It just brings you to a broken link. Hopefully they fix that soon. And again, it's March so of 2017, so if this video is old for you guys, and they might have fixed the problem. Uh, this does not have much community support. Uh, I tried to look up some where on how to fix certain things on this. I don't know how to get the SP um, I working. I don't know how to get IC, I2C working. I can't get serial work. I don't even know how to work the cameras on this guy. So the lack of support on this is almost non like. The support does not exist. I don't even know where to find support. There's no forum or anything that, which they should have made. Is this guy fast? Obviously on paper, 1.8 gigahertz is faster than 1.2 gigahertz on the Raspberry Pi quad core. Yes, but is it really fast? Uh, my answer to that is that I've been playing with this operating system for a couple of days and it is slow. Uh, what I mean is this operating system is not optimized. So moving windows have that huge amount of jitter has it, I can't even run YouTube smoothly. Um, it, there's a lot of problems with this. Until they fix out all the kinks, um, it's going to have these problems exist. And again, because they don't have that community support that Raspberry Pi has, a lot of problems are left unsolved. As far as the conclusion on this, I will be doing a full benchmark between this and the Raspberry Pi. I just have to set up everything and get all the recording software to do it. Um, I will be making a second video on exactly all the tests and I'll list out all the tests compared this guy to the Raspberry Pi. Uh, would I recommend it to anyone? Uh, to be honest, no. Uh, I don't want to be their tech support because if I sell them this and they can't figure out something, they're going to come back to me. So I wouldn't recommend it to any of my friends right now. Um, if you are familiar with this chip and you really want to play with it because of the higher speeds, I would try it. The gigabit ethernet adapter does work and it does work great. If you guys enjoyed this review, please hit that like button. If you guys have any questions about this, I will try to answer it. I will leave all the links in the description below on where you could get it and um, the ASUS's website on where you could try to get all the images and everything. If you guys haven't done so already, hit that little subscribe button. And as I say in my nerd cave, hack till it hurts.